You know what? I ain't that smart. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton, and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We're gonna ditch this fucking warehouse. I was looking at the map, and there's uh, yet another farm, which hopefully will be a bit more interesting than the first one. It's relatively early in the morning. Might be able to make it back home today, or at least uh, back to the other farm to rescue those stuffed animals that I talked about in the last episode. I don't know. We're, we're, we're just keeping our head on the swivel. We're trying to keep things interesting. That's about how it goes. Once the power goes off, if I, uh, the power goes off while I'm way out here, I'm going to have to fucking book it all the way back. But that's just fine. We'll do what needs to be done. That's for sure. Uh, I think the farm is down this way or some such. Look at all these zombies. Everywhere I go that I haven't been, they're just lurking. Why are you always lurking? Ugh. Oh. Five in the morning. I'm surprised uh, we don't hear birds in this game. It's probably something that's going to get added a bit later. So you can tell time by bird. Which would be uh, quite nice. Kind of realistic, you know? Like in real life, you hear the birds and you're like, oh, it's this time. They got uh, many different birds for the many different times. You know, that's convenient as shit for when uh, when society goes asunder and everything is over. <laughs> I, I don't know when that's going to happen, IRL. But eventually it will. I'm so sure of that. Um, a little bit hungry... Where I got my MREs, yes. This is what I want. Delicious, wonderful little snack for me. Hmm. I didn't eat all of that. <laughs> I started running before I finished eating it. But that's okay. Here's the farm. Look at all this shit. What is this? Wheat? Looks like wheat. Maybe corn. I don't know. I'm not a farmer in real life. <laughs> oh, listen to those crickets. The birds are eating the crickets. So the sounds of the crickets are fading away. I I'm not sure if I like or hate birds. Like, you do get the 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 songs from the birds. It's pretty nice, you know. They're not singing for territorial reasons or mating reasons most of the time, anyways. They're just uh singing because they like it because it's fucking fun birds know how to have a good time speaking of birds here's a chicken coop i think you've also got like uh you know birds are kind of assholes <laughs> on the other end of that they are kind of assholes you know cuckoo birds and shit smashing another bird's nest just so they can put their eggs in there because they don't want to raise their own fucking kids it's pretty fucked up starlings do the same thing They'll just steal a nest. Fucking assholes, dude. They're like, uh, feathery dinosaurs. Basically. Basically, I don't like them none too much. Um, let's climb through this, please. Hey, look at this. Nice little tool shed. It's another nice thing about living in the country. Everybody's got a tool shed. Full of goodies. Propane tank. Rope. Hmm. I feel like I should be doing something with all this rope. I could make uh, more more light posts, so I guess I'll take the rope. I don't know. Why not? If it fits. I ditched most of my sheets, so uh, we should be able to fit just a bit more in my big bag. We're uh, we're pushing the limit of what we're able to do as far as carrying shit. Uh, fishing net traps. Okay. Now I got five of those. That's pretty good. Get some nails, and I'll put them in a box. Because, uh, nails are easier to carry when they're in a box. As one would assume. There we go. Done and done. Piece of cake. What you got on this shelf? Some more nails? Mm, okay. I take. I like, I take. That's a great thing. Great thing about living at the end of the world, if you like something, go ahead. Go ahead, you can have it. It's yours. Nobody else is here to, to tell you not to. This is actually a pretty nice little house. Pretty nice little farm attached. 
And there are no zombies here. I don't understand why there are no zombies on the farm. I guess I'm not gonna not gonna complain too much about that. Makes things nice and easy. Nice and easy. Um, some bath towels. There's a bandage. Are my bandages in the doctor's bag? No. They're in the hiking bag. Because I'm a, a fucking mong. I can't keep my goddamn inventory sorted. <laughs> That's probably how it would really be, too. Just, uh, kind of pile stuff in a bag and wonder where it is later, so I dump the whole bag on the fucking floor. Yeah! Yeah! This is the best way that we that we can do things. This is, uh, primo. Absolutely primo. Hmm. As usual, nothing in the cabra cabinets, cupboards. I, I, I combine those two words. Cubner, cabinet. Do I have my screwdriver? No. I'm missing my fucking screwdriver. I wanted to take that uh, radio apart because I kind of enjoy that tinkering and whatnot. You know. I am an uh, electronics engineer, after all. Got my uh, electrical skills up through the roof. Although I haven't still figured out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. <laughs> what, do what does it all mean? Ooh, do we have cereal? Milk and cereal. Awesome. I got some mac and cheese. Damn. We're living the life, dude. We're living the fucking life, my dude. I'll go ahead and cook up the steak too. Because guess what? This is my steak now. I do whatever I want. It's the end of the world, son. You're trying to tell me I can't cook a steak? I can. I'm the best. Okay, no burn. No burn, please. Um, just eat like a quarter of it. Eat a quarter of this steak. Leave it sitting in my bag next to my, uh, Disgusting moldy rain poncho. <laughs> Everything's normal here, don't you worry. Empty mug, metal box, batteries, dead rat. Yes. How did how did these rats die? I guess there's also a lot of rats that are alive and still running around. It's just the dead ones that you find because they're uh they're not able to hide from you anymore. They're fucking dead. <laughs> Uh, always checking the bathrooms for, um, goodies, adhesive bandages, are what I mean by goodies. Dang. Here's some toys. Yeah, we can bring these. Can you come with me? Rabbit and Triceratops? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. The tea party is beginning. I don't know why there's so many toys in, uh, on the farm. I didn't think farmers had that much time for playing with toys, you know? I thought the tractor was their toy. <laughs> they like a tractor. Alright, I guess we're done here. Check the shed, check the chicken coop. Yeah, we're good. We're good, bro. I'm gonna finish off this steak. Yes. Nine in the morning, eating a steak. What a life. Oh, there's, there's another building. A big red barn. Oh, and they got hay bales? Hell yeah. I should burn some of these hay bales. Not because I particularly need warmth or anything, but because it would be awesome. <laughs> and it would also probably uh, deter zombies, no? Maybe? I'm trying to see if I could climb over them. But I can't. So we're done. And now I gotta find the way back to the fucking road. There's some more hay bales. These would probably be safer to burn than the ones right next to the barn. Oh. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Filipinos, they like to burn stuff. <laughs> they like to burn trash. A lot. Which, you know, I won't say that's uh, not convenient. I was talking a lot about uh, cultural differences in the last episode. Mostly about, like, uh, laws against infidelity and stuff like that. But, um... There's no laws against burning trash. You can fucking burn trash if you want. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I've never tried calling the cops. I just, I just kind of accept it for what it is. I know if uh, you try and do it in the U.S., somebody's gonna call the cops for sure. You're gonna be in trouble. Trouble bubble. 
And then, uh, I think this way goes way back to my house. Which, uh, I'm not gonna bother with quite yet. We've still got a rescue mission to accomplish, okay? So I gotta run, uh, up the street, back by the lumber mill, and then we'll hit the barn again. At least I hope. That's at least, uh, my plan, anyways. But yeah, burning trash. I will say that it, that shit is just so convenient, you know? You don't want to go to the dump. There's there's not a trash man that comes by in the country, or, uh, when, when the world is over. <laughs> there's no more trash man. So, what do you do? Take care of that shit yourself. Oh, God. So, we drag a, a giant fucking... Giant fucking cabinet outside? What, do you want to haul this to the dump? No. Just, just light it on fire. And boosh, nothing left. Nothing left. All you gotta do is clean up the little uh, metal handles. <laughs> or whatever. Maybe you drive those to the dump. I don't know. It's whatever you want to do, bro. It's how we live our life out here. Um, this baseball bat's too heavy. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. I'd like to hunker down just because it's raining and shit. But, uh, one, my exhaustion is pretty high. Two, there are fucking zombies everywhere over here. Because of that alarm that was set off just a little bit earlier. Um... You go in family fashion. You go in the buffet. Oh dang! There's so many options. Yeah, they're all gonna follow me here. I was gonna set up in the burger shop and have a little snacky, a little bit, a little bit of that snack pack. Let me tell you, burgers. That's just so convenient. You don't even need a plate. You can just eat it over the sink like a fucking animal. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god. Do I have a bath towel still? There's a bath towel in the bathroom. That would make a lot of sense. I think I uh, dropped my bath towel somewhere. Oh, they're knocking. Dry myself off real quick. Yeah, that's convenience at its finest. Wet bath towel. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Shove this back in the cabinet. It's all moldy and disgusting. That banging. Oh. oh, you guys. Why you do this? Let me just rest for a minute. I'm just gonna rest for, for just a little bit until the exhaustion goes away. It says to take a break, so I'm gonna take a break. Hopefully, they're not going to uh, break through the windows. Which may or may not happen. A little bit faster. Look at that dude. He was head banging. <laughs> Writing blood from a lesser sky. Beneath the sunset, the sky turns black. Writing blood. Yeah. And it's raining blood here too. That's okay. The rain will come and wash things away. It will cleanse the land. Hmm. Getting a little wet again. I don't like it. Let's see if we can make some foodies. I guess that's what we do when it's all rainy and shit. I had a plan for what I wanted to do, but uh, apparently that's that's not possible. That's not what what's gonna happen. At least uh, not yet. Gotta wait for the rain to stop. It's been raining a lot in the Philippines lately. We got uh, the rainy season. It's like July to September or something like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so we'll uh, put up with it for a few months, because we don't really have a choice, because uh, the sky is what is what makes the choice. They're like, oh, yeah, you need some water, you need some more water, you need some more water, and we're like, please stop, no more water, and it's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever, you're just humans. Humans make plan, and God laughs. <laughs> and then, yeah, I... Why can't they just uh, send a little bit of this rain to California, yay? That would be nice. Here's some banging. Another fucking zombie found me in my hidey hole. Oh, MRE? I'll take that. I can't fit it in my uh, other bag, I don't think. New. No, indeed. 
How about I just eat it? Eat this whole fucking thing. I don't need to make food. I got MRE. That's a meal that's ready to eat, except for the, the little the little heat pack. So you can make your spaghetti or whatever the fuck is in there. I don't know what's in there. It's a mystery. Oh, I wanted to drink some Red Bull with my MRE. Maybe the MRE came with a, a delicious drink. A Capri Sun. <laughs> Anybody remember Capri Sun? What the fuck? I'm sure they still make them. But I'm also sure that it doesn't taste the same. Because everybody's like, hey, you like high fruit corn syrup, don't you, America? I'm like, mm, not really. Shit'll kill you. Look it up. That's why people drink them uh, Mexican Cokes. Them Cokes from Mexico, they got the real sugar in them. Because Mexico knows better than to drink high fructose corn syrup. That's a lie. <laughs> it's high fructose corn syrup and a lot of shit everywhere you go. Same with the Philippines. I guess uh, Philippines has kind of more an excuse because, you know, it's not a rich country. You can't afford sugar for everything. Even like uh, legit cheese and shit like that is hard to find over here. It's mostly, uh, you know, oils, cheese product kind of thing, which tastes fine to me. I'm not a picky sort of guy. That's a secret. I bet you didn't know. I'll eat whatever the fuck. Mostly it is uh, candy and donuts. <laughs> oh, pickled tomatoes? Is that even good? <laughs> I, I don't think that even sounds that good, but I want to take it. Damn, I've got way too much stuff. I need to drop some of these hunting rifles and all this crap. Like, I've got so many guns, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to leave it right here on the floor. That's what I'm gonna do. Nobody can stop me. Yep, I'll miss you, hunting rifle, but you know what? That was uh, a lot of extra weight for no fucking reason. So there, good, done. And ironically, the guns were in the doctor's bag. Ha 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 ha. Oh, another thing that sucks about living in the city. People don't want you to have a gun. They freak out if you have a gun. Oh my god. He's got a gun! Dude, I'm just fucking... <laughs> I'm just open carrying a gun. Calm down. I didn't pull it out. I didn't point it at anybody. You're just fucking freaking out for no reason. You're acting like I'm walking around with a, a fucking severed head or something like that. Put you, in, put you in jail for five years for having a gun. What the fuck? What the fuck? California? Jesus. Can't help these people. Try and, try and lead the way, teach them the correct thing. Look, it's just a gun. Everything's fine. Oh my god, oh my god. I heard about one of those that shot somebody one time. <laughs> yeah, it was probably the guy that was attached to the gun that shot somebody. The gun just didn't uh, wake up and shoot somebody. The gun didn't wake up ever. Here, come, come in here. Drive through window. What do you want? French fries? Okay. All we have is baseball bats. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm the best fast food employee ever. Ever, ever. Fucking ever. Alright, I think the rain is gone. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Boom, 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 boom. I can see all obstacles in the way. They're mostly zombies. The, the zombies are the obstacles that I'm referring to. And I could even see them in the rain, but, um, yeah. I don't want to fight them in the rain, lest I get some pneumonia or some such. Let's cruise up this way, see what might await us. Do, 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 do. I think this is the way to go. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. I'm going to end up fucking walking around in the middle of the night. I'll go ahead and uh, call that right now. I'll call that right now. It's already 1 p.m. And, uh, yeah, I'm leaving town instead of finding somewhere to hunker down. Which, uh, doesn't seem like a great idea to me. But then there's 
Oh my god, it's raining. <laughs> but then there's, uh, yeah, there's always somewhere to go. Even if I have to build a, a little house in the woods, I can still do that. I've got plenty of nails and shit. What is over there? Can I explore this? It's like a construction yard or something like that. Better be careful walking through these trees. There's always zombies waiting around. Whoa! Okay, so this is the uh, the storage yard for the lumber. They've got the lumber mill, and then they've got the, the place where they store all the logs before they are chopped up. McCoy Logging Corp. Wow. Thank you, McCoy. You've done a great job at murdering this forest. Is there anything in this... In this crate? Probably more wood. I learned my lesson from the bank. It's not always a, a great idea to get behind a locked door. It doesn't always matter so much. Oh my god, it is logs. I could saw all of this up and make a, a fantastic, fantastic house. And it's all fucking fenced in. Wow can't jump over this fence. Oh, man. This is a really good place to go. If I had not settled already, fuck. I I'd get right here. And it's right near a town, too. It's got a giant fucking wall. Dang. This is a really good place to be. There are uh, two entrances and exits. And that's it. Set up a little turret or some shit. <laughs> I wish you could make auto turrets in this game. Oh, there's a fucking gigantic. This is how the trucks get in. Mm-hmm. That's right. What you got in the trash? Oh, trash bag. Okay. <laughs> I guess that makes good sense. Well, there's not really any place to uh, sleep in there. But that is pretty interesting. Hmm, am I supposed to go this way or the other way? I'm not sure. I don't think it matters none too much. Mmm, mum, 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 mum. Looks like we're supposed to go up over here and down like this little dirt path. And I really don't think I'm gonna be able to make it all the way uh, back to the farm. Back to the farm! Everybody back to the farm! Hmm. There's another little turn off. And there's a gate, which means there's some goodies over here for me, or maybe just a giant fucking parking lot. I don't know. Yeah, what what is this? Construction site, I guess. This is where they were gonna build a building before everybody died. But yeah, here is the construction site. This is where the foreman hangs out. The foreskin. <laughs> That's part of a penis. Alright, I think I could sneak in here. That's some fine sneaking. I did some real good sneaking just then. Did you notice? Well, it was real good sneaking. Uh, can I sleep on this? No. I sleep in that chair, I bet. Yes. Oh, but I don't really want to sleep yet. I got so many places to be, so much stuff to do. It just never ends. Hmm. Let's see what's posted on the bulletin board. Oh, it's a, a work schedule. They didn't schedule me for, for this entire month. That's pretty fucked up, bro. That's pretty fucked up, man. I wanted to be scheduled this month. I got a family to feed. Dang. I should probably rest up before I, uh, go running off into the woods some more. No, 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 don't sleep. I said rest. Damn it. <laughs> oh, and it says I'm a little drowsy, too. Well, we're gonna get some good sleep, but we gotta, uh, we gotta make it first. Where, where, where's the zombie? Can't see the zombie because I'm too fucking drowsy. My head, I can't. Is this a door? No. It's just a window. So looky loose can look in my construction site. What's up with that, bro? Don't do that. That's a distraction. Or maybe it's so the the construction workers can can look out 
and catcall women. Because that seems to be what uh, construction workers like to do. They ain't got no shame. They just uh, sit there and drink. <laughs> like, oh, I got a, a union a union break for two hours. Lunch break is two hours and you have to pay me for it. What the fuck? You're getting paid $30 an hour, dude. You're <laughs> Chill out. It's probably not 30. Closer to 15 or 20. But still, it ain't minimum wage is what I'm saying. Get your ass back to work. Put on your stupid little helmet. Grab your fucking rivet, rivet gun. Or <laughs> whatever the fuck they use. I don't know. Obviously, I've not worked construction in my life. Um, but they used to use rivet guns. They'd have like a bowl of fucking red hot bolts when they were building New York back in the fucking 40s and 50s. They'd have a bowl of red hot bolts and they'd grab it with the tongs and the guy would come over with the hammer and be like, bing, 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 and uh, secure the, the beams together. That's pretty cool. Why can't we go back to that shit? Now we've just got like pre-made disgustingness. Have you ever noticed that all modern architecture is fucking garbage? <laughs> I just started noticing that recently. They're, it looks like a fucking prison. Everything they build, every apartment building, is, it just looks like a prison. And then you look at, like, Europe and their majestic cathedrals and shit. And then you look at the stuff that's more recently built and it all just looks like a fucking giant concrete block of nothingness. I don't know if somebody actually uh, sat there and designed that. It looks like something somebody just shit out. And they're like, here you go. You want to live inside this? No. I don't want to live inside your poop. <laughs> I want to live in like a nice, uh, a nice cottage or something. A nice cottage in the woods where I can shoot bottle rockets at deer. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, people from the city don't get it so much, you know. Deer, uh, Louis C.K. has a bit. He's basically explaining how deers are like giant fucking rats. You first move to the country and you're like, oh, look how pretty it is. And then you try to grow fucking anything. Roses and deers want to eat all the roses. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that is not for consumption. That is for humans to look at and enjoy. Which is also really fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know why we want this plant. And then you're like, don't touch it. Just look at it. <laughs> Don't eat it. I know you need food and uh, humans are encroaching on your land and it's getting harder and harder to find. But don't you fucking touch my flowers. I swear to God. I'll shoot you with the bottle rocket. <laughs> and it's not as cruel as it sounds, honestly. I think uh, shooting a deer in the fucking head is way more cruel. Oh, God. Rain's back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If you're good, if you're stocked for venison, something like that, then uh, go ahead and get your get your bottle rocket out. <clears throat> Aim it right at that fucking deer and uh, let her rip. And guess what? That deer's probably never going to come back to your house. <laughs> it's just, yeah, so silent. And then all of a sudden, woo, pop. The deer jumps fucking five feet in the air, takes off. Learned a good lesson today, didn't ya, boy? He did. He really did. <laughs> so proud of that. So proud of that. Really, uh, yeah. I'd like to build a potato gun. You guys ever build a potato gun? Fucking giant piece of PVC pipe. And then you got the, the little launcher. And you, uh, put some hairspray or some shit in there. Some aerosol product. And light it on fire. And then the potato's just like... Whew. You could shoot that shit at a deer. Probably break a deer's ribs. So, uh, not as humane as the bottle rocket, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't know why I get so into, like, animal cruelty and shit like that when I play Project Zomboid. I guess that's how the woods makes you. You just become a huntsman or some shit like that. Oh my god, it is coming down in sheets. It is raining cats and dogs, speaking of animal abuse. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. It's a term that people use sometimes. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, I didn't notice how fucking broke 
broke to shit this bat was. Okay, goodbye, bat. I don't have time for you. I have some wood glue, but I don't want to bother fixing that crap. I got a bunch of other bats. It's gonna be just fine. Look at, I'm so tired, I'm so exerted. But we gotta keep it going. I said I was gonna go back to the farm. We didn't even sleep at the farm last time. Time we could have a little, a little sleepover slumber party. We could tell a story about the the farm hand who who lost his arm in a a wheat thresher and attached a hook to it, and then he's gonna come back and kill us in the middle of the night. Isn't that so fun? When people tell you stories about how you're gonna die in the middle of the night, <laughs> that's my favorite part about being out in the wilderness. Aside from the bottle rockets and potato guns, and uh, yeah. Even burning trash, I can get behind that. <laughs> if you're in the city, don't burn trash. If you're in the if you're in the country, I guess I guess it's fine. You can do whatever the fuck you want, basically. That's the nicest thing. You play loud music. You could uh yeah. I mean <laughs> you can play loud music during the day here, but you could play it as loud as you want, literally, if you're in the middle of nowhere. You could, you could walk through the woods, listen to sticks while you're a mile away from your house. And you could just have like an iPod or whatever too, but that shit's so, uh, so 2004. <laughs> I'd rather have like a sound system from a Puerto Rican's car inside my house. And then I can just hear it from, uh, miles and miles away. I want to break the windows out of my own house. That's how it is. And listen to some Slayer, some Cannibal Corpse. I bet wolf, wolves like Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> wolves will cannibalize each other's corpse. They know what I'm talking about. Oh god, this is gonna be such a long run, isn't it? Fuck. I can't just go to sleep on the ground. <laughs> I could make a chair and uh, go to sleep in the chair outside, but <laughs> I don't think that's a really good idea. I don't particularly want to roll the dice in that fashion. I think it took me a long fucking time to get out this way, so uh, it's gonna take me a long fucking time to get back too. Hopefully I don't end up passing out. You know, it could happen. And uh, then I get bit, and that, that could be how it all ends. I died on my rescue mission. Those poor little animals! <laughs> Those poor fake stuffed animals! <laughs> they had a toy octopus. Right now I've got a, a triceratops and a rabbit, but they definitely need to uh, get the octopus with them so he can give them all hugs. Octopuses will hug the shit out of anything. Eight things at once. Isn't that amazing? Is that amazing to anybody else? I'm pretty amazed by that. Fuck yeah, octopi. <laughs> it's like one of the smartest animals, isn't it? like changes its color and imitates a lionfish and all kinds of crazy shit. Good job, Octopi. You're the best animal ever. It's got a big fucking dome that he just squeezes into any place that he wants because he doesn't have a skull. <laughs> what a what a weird animal it is. But it's a fucking marvel of nature. Nature has so many marvels in it. Isn't that true? More Marvels than the Marvel comics. That's that's not really even that good of a joke. <laughs> it sounded cooler in my head, and then as soon as it flew out, I'm like, I wish I could take that back. I wish I could take that back. I could edit it out, you know. But, uh, it'll probably make me cringe again in editing, and then I'll be like, ah, fuck it. What am I going to do with five seconds of dead air? Nothing. And then I was talking about it for, uh, minutes after it happened, so... It would just be like, minutes of dead air. People would be like, did Dayton actually run out of things to say for once? No. Never happened, bro. <laughs> not today. Not ever. Oh, here's a fucking turn in the road. Thank God. Let's uh, pull up this map real quick. I want to see. And there's a fucking fella right there. There's a fart smeller. A, a smart fella. Okay, so it might be pretty close now. I guess, maybe, if we see the Pony Romo, then we might uh, be able to settle down. 
And if not, then we're gonna be running through the woods all fucking night until we pass out. And that zombie's still probably chasing me. So, uh, not good. Not good. Oh yeah, here it is. The dirt path. The dirt path that leads to the farm. We fucking made it. I'm, uh, <laughs> excessively exhausted and extremely in danger of passing out. Uh, but that's okay. It's okay, everything's fine. If I pass out in the woods, I'm sure, uh, nobody's gonna find me. There's been no zombies on the farm, thusly. Correct? Am I correct in assuming this? We, we visited two farms, zero zombies. Which is fucking crazy. They're mostly in, uh, I guess the spawn is based on buildings or something like that. Because, uh, yeah, they don't seem to spawn out here for some reason. There's not many buildings for them to spawn at, I suppose. I don't really know how it works. Could go ahead and, uh, open this shit in Notepad and try and figure out what the fuck they did with the coding for this game. But you know what? I ain't that smart. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to, uh, to figure out what the code actually means. I could look at the code and I go, wow, that's a lot of fucking code. <laughs> and that's about it. End the story. Done and done. Look at this shit. My farmhouse, we're back again now. Hello world, did you miss me? And the world said, no, have some rain. And I said I had enough rain, and they're like, I don't think you did. I don't think you did. Where are my friends? Oh, here's a doll. I guess you can come. Kind of gay, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, I'm just calling things Gaylord. I want to go back to like third grade or something. I call stuff Gay. Gaylord? You're a Gaylord. Oh, look at this. Hippo, monkey, octopus, stegosaurus, T-Rex. We've already got a Triceratops, don't we? I think we do. Okay. I'm going to bring this extra Triceratops, though. Because the fucking T-Rex is right there, you know? The, the herbivores need to team up. To keep each other safe. There it goes! Look at all my toys, son! Uh, 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 double up! Uh, 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 I think that was more than double up. <laughs> Anyways, friends, we've made it, uh, back to the farm. We'll, we'll go home in the next episode. I've, I've had quite, a quite enough exploring. I, it's a shame that I dropped my guns, though. <laughs> I just couldn't carry them around any longer. My back was hurting. You know how it goes. Anyways, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. It is always appreciated. We're almost to a thousand subs. World domination! World domination! World domination! It's coming. It's coming. It's coming sooner than you think. Sooner than I think. Even though I'm like totally counting the days. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Project Zomboid. And I will see you then. So until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.